Today I'm going to show you a compact gimbal by a company called Zin Yun. And this is the model Smooth Q2 and it's the smallest that they have on offer. Now this uh, gimbal, I got it from Amazon for about £100 and um, it's one of the smallest ones that I can find. There is loads of video on the internet about how to use this product. So um, I'm just going to show you what is in the box and what do I find about using this gimbal and compared to the couple of gimbals which I have tested, I'll put the link on the description and then uh, you can have a check it out. And I have to say, this is a much better version of a compact gimbal. Now this one here is made of uh, metal construction, which is really sturdy. And um, compared to the previous one that I have tested, this one can do 360 on this, on this kind of a panning axle. So this unlock a lot more uh, possibility of what kind of video that you can do with this. For example, I no longer have to worry about panning and then it stops because the motor doesn't go beyond a certain point. This one actually creep, can go one like 360 around and around. There is no limit on how many rotations this actually does. Another cool feature that because of this um, 360 rotation, you can do actually a kind of a, a twisting angle. So um, I'm going to show that to you in a minute. Basically, the phone can actually twist 360 and you could, it's like a spiral kind of a shot. Now, it always it's also come with this um, little phone holder thing. Uh, it say here that, you know, you can take off the phone and use it uh, to make a phone call without having to take it like off the gimbal. Uh, off the hook, but what I find is very useful for is I sometimes find it very difficult to mount the phone while this thing is already on the gimbal. So now you can take your time and set it up without the gimbal. And once you had it locked on and where you want it, and then you can mount it on there quite easily. Now out of the box, uh, one of the things I really don't like about this gimbal is the actual catch of the phone holder. Nowadays phone is quite slim lined. Uh, mine is a Mi 9T Pro, but with a case, you add a bit of thickness to the phone. And this one here doesn't allow a flush kind of a clamp. So what it means is when you put the phone on the holder, Sometimes it doesn't sit flush. Can you see that? So you actually squeeze the phone cover out of place. So I suggest take it out of the case or it's not as easy as you thought it would be. Now the clamp should be roughly in the middle. Again, the manufacturers say that, you know, this is actually a quite a well um, strong motor. So a bit of unbalance is okay, but we should as much as we can balance the phone so that it gives less work for, for the motor to do. Here there is an arrow to show you which, which way to mount your phone. So the camera lens is pointing to the red arrow right here. And this just slide into the catch with both the wording facing to the top. Slide it on, push the red button down to, un to lock it, and that's it. That's the phone mounted to the gimbal. And to further balance it, put it into this kind of a position, and the phone should not topple. And you just move the phone up and down on the holder until it doesn't slide anymore. So I can tell that the phone needs to go that way a little bit. So I'm just going to push it that way. Okay. So I think that's it. So now it's kind of semi-balanced, but remember what I say, the motor is now quite strong. So no longer need to worry about it not stabilizing. And the other one, the other thing I like about this gimbal is that it can actually sit on the table 
like that. And um, you can always like, you know, screw in a um, attachment to it to make it more stable. But what I'll do now is just switch it on for you guys. So press the power button and hold it. And it's spring into action. So now it's ready to use. You can tell that it's actually stabilizing the phone pretty well. Um, selfie mode can be activated by, uh, I think, triple pressing the power button. So for example, now, obviously I'm filming myself. If I press it three times, it turns around. If I press it three times again, it faces me again. Okay, so pairing the phone is easy. Basically, it's done by Bluetooth and you don't have to repair it every time. So every time that you switch on the gimbal and the phone is near the proximity, it will automatically connect. Now, the other good thing is um, the buttons here do work with your native um, camera. So for example, um, you don't need to use the app if you want to just take simple like picture and photo. For example, if I press the photo button, it will start the recording. And if I press it, it will stop. Now this is a native camera, not, not the Zilliun um, Play, which is the software. Now to use the software, it gives you a lot more control. For example, um, the ZY Play is the software. And uh, once you go into the software, obviously you can do the same thing like recording, take pictures, but it also allows you to do some really cool feature like a moving time lapse. So you can actually set how fast you, um, you want the gimbal to move at a certain time and then you take a picture at a uh, set interval. So it will time lapse, but you can get actually get a very cool kind of a panning shot um, through the time lapse. So that is quite good to use. And um, I guess most of the people will be using like recording. But another feature I really like about this is to take a panoramic picture. Now this is not new. Um, since um, iPhone or Android, you can actually like uh, hold a button and just move around. And then you can get a much wider shot because it takes many of the two pictures and stitch them together. Now this is something similar, but this time the gimbal will actually do it for you. So what happened is you, you, you choose the pararic mode and it automatically move it for you and then it stitch it up together in the software. It kind of stitch up the different photos into one long strip, which is quite a cool feature because um, it's much more accurate this way to create a um, to create a nice picture. Now let me show you what the inception mode, and just to show you guys what it can do to make people feeling dizzy. So basically, it locks onto like a like a flashlight, Ooh. like a fresh light, but I'm not sure how useful that is, but you know it is one of the function that you you can choose to use. But um, okay, if I show you what how how stable how stable it can be. So I'm going to start a video. Obviously no one walk around like this wobbly, but it does, it does a good job in terms of keeping, keeping the phone straight. So all your control is over here. You've got your power button, you've got your shutter button, you've got your joypad, which can tilt the camera. And then you've got the LED light to show you the mode. Every time you click, one step go forward to a different mode. You can also do two clicks to move it backwards. Now finally, at the moment, we are filming ourselves. If you click this twice, oops, three times, flips around. 
quite a handy feature. And you three times again, it comes back. Now battery can be replaced. You just twist the bottom here and then the battery will come out and you can do that again. So you got a USB-C charging port right, at, right there. Now the hinges sometimes can get in the way of a wide angle. So the hinges, the way they're designed, sometimes can get into the wide angle. So all you need to do is to hold it in such a way that it tilt downwards a bit more so it doesn't get in the frame. The, the whole gimbal is metal construction, so it does get a bit heavy, but because it's so small, um, you don't really feel the weight in your hand. And I think, I think by testing it just now, I think this has become my favorite gimbal. So easy to carry around. Um, the fact that this, this axle can actually do 360 and is amazing. I would love to do a lot of creating creative shots with this. So, well done Ziyun. You made the gimbal which I actually like. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my content, please subscribe and I see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.